All right, everyone, welcome back to another MX Bikes video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite super mini packs MX Bikes, the 112s um, in particular here. And you guys, as you can see here, we got the Honda, we got the Suzuki, Cowie, Gas Gas, Husky, KTM, Yamaha. We got all the 112s here. So today, we're going to check out multiple of these 112s here. I'm going to start on the Husky, okay? All right, you guys, we're on the Huron compound here on the good old Husky here. And the reason I, I kind of want to make this video on the 112s here today in bikes is because I don't feel like I've actually actually made a video on the 112s in a while and it's fun to check out the 112s every once in a while right and of course if you guys want these bikes i will leave a link down below that includes the whole bike pack so you guys can get all these 112s yourself but like i said here we're starting out on the husky here and every time we change a bike we're going to change to a different track as well here and um right now we're on the husky i think we'll check out probably three bikes in today's video i want to check out the husky and i got a couple other 112s i'd really love to check out here today um, but yeah, you guys, let's just check out the good old Husky here today right off the rip. One thing I really, really like about these 112s is they absolutely shred, dude. Like I said, I haven't rode them in a while, so I might be kind of sketch here, but <laughs> we're going to ride it. But one thing I forgot about the 112s is they absolutely rip here up over this table. Let's see if we can hit the quad on this thing. Come on! Yes, sir, bro, this Husky rips! Holy hell, we're on the outside just never letting off. That's one thing I loved about these 112s, man. They handle so well, and you can just hold them absolutely wicked. They still absolutely freaking shred, bro. So damn fun. Just holding a wick. But yeah, these 112s are some of my favorite super mains in the game just because of how good they feel in the game and how fun they are to use. Let's do a little bit of third person as well on the Husky here. Oh my gosh, I thought we we're going to go down there switching cameras in like that. But we're ripping, dude. <laughs> uh, but like I said, you guys, we're going to check out multiple 112s in today's video. Oh my god, how are we alive? Let's go inside here. Wow, we're sketch. Um, and I can't wait to try out some of the other 112s to see how they hold up here to the Husky. You guys, you want to know what I want to try real quick on the Husky before we head to the next bike, okay? Is I don't know how I was going to go either, but I want to try out some soupy on this thing here. Let's finish out our lap though here around this left-hander up over the finish line here. There we go. But you guys, I I'm assuming we're going to be able to hit most of the lines we normally would hit because these bikes absolutely bark. are getting a little sketch through there, but we still went triple-triple, which is sick. Double down the hill here triple let's go inside here all the way over this there we go double into the corner around this left hander these whoops might be a bit sketchy on the husky ah oh, nah we're ripping through those things around the right hander here can we go quad in gonna come up short on the quad there oh my god we're jumping off track oh no we went down so it came up a bit short there on that quad in i know you can hit that quad in if you rail the outside perfectly but yeah, as I suspected, this this bike absolutely barks on Supercross as well here. Let's go over the table. Triple. Oh my gosh, we're sketch. Double. Step up. Yeah, these bikes are absolutely sick here. But you guys, let's go ahead now that we finished out our lap on Supi here and hop on the next 112 in today's video, which I am very excited to check out. Let's head to it right now. All right, you guys, so we were on the TC112, right? The Husky. And now we're on the good old YZ112 here. This thing is so freaking sick, bro. And we're on acreage, okay? I don't know how this is going to go. All right, you guys. So first, I want to start off with a little bit of a uh, little bit of free ride here. And I have a couple jumps in mind. You may know where I'm headed. I don't know if the YZ112 is going to have enough power to clear these jumps, okay? But we're going to give her a shot, and that's all that matters. So let's make our way up here. All right, you guys, so I have made it up here on top of this um, hill here, to say the least, finally. And I'm going to be brutally honest. I, I don't think the YZ112 is going to have enough power to get over these jumps here. Maybe the first jump, the double up over the bridge, but not the second jump here. We're going to try, though. You never know. These 112s have surprised us here before, so let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can't hit this first jump over the bridge here. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're coming up short, man. Okay, so we got over the first jump. Oh, come on. I think we might be able to get over that if we grab fifth. I don't know, though. This is going to be really, really hard. Let's give this another run here. Okay, so we made it over the first double. Come on over the second double. No, we're coming up short, dude. Yeah, that second one's a bit big. I feel like if we land perfect off that first double and just hold her absolutely wick, we might be able to get over that second double. But, I mean, the fact we even cleared over the bridge is insane. So we're going to take that as a W on the 112. You know what I mean? We're on a 112, of course, here. So <laughs> we're not going to complain. Um, let's see if we can't rip the track here for a second, and then we'll head to the next 112 I have planned in today's video that I really want to check out. So far, we've checked out the TC-112 and the YZ-112, and I got a really sick 112 next. 
to check out here. But let's see if we can't bark this thing on the track here for a second. Oh my gosh, dude. We railed that inside there around the outside here. Take her nice and easy so we don't croak, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this track is actually really, really fun as well. Even on the 112s, the 112s absolutely bark, dude. It's insane. But you guys, I think it's time here to hop on the final 112 of today's video. Let's head there now. Because we're absolutely holding our 60 wick. Can we clear this? I think we're going to come up short still. Oh, yeah, we're coming up big time short there. All right, yeah, let's hop on the next 112. All right, you guys, we are here on the RM112 now here. And I figured we got to come to Smeezville here and rip a little bit of Smeezville on the good old RM112, you know what I'm saying here. Um, let's see if we can't absolutely bark the 112 here, though, up over that triple. Let's go inside here. Yeah, I can't wait to rip the 112 here on some Smeezville. It is going to be sick. So one thing I'm curious for is I'm kind of curious. Can we go inside triple through here? Um, we're gonna have to try it next lap. I'll set a marker down and we'll run it, but I kind of want to go inside triple single. If not, we might have to go outside and hit the bigger face triple single. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to hit that triple. Oh my god, tossing it. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit the triple from the inside on the RM112 due to not having the utmost power because we are on a 112, of course, here. Um, but we'll give her a shot nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? I bet we could go triple single through this section, but let's just go double double. Keep her on two wheels, you know what I'm saying here? Up over this triple here. Let's go ahead, inside fourth gear, pin, grab fifth. Yeah, I don't think the inside triple is going to be happening um, due to the face not being peaked enough. And we don't have enough power on the 112s. On the 450s, inside triple is no, uh, no big deal. But that's a 450. We're on a 112 right now. So, so you know, we got to make do with what we got here. So, can we go outside triple? I'm assuming this is going to be really easy. Let's grab sixth here, outside triple. Oh, yeah. Outside triple. There we go. Then single out. So, outside triple is definitely doable. Um, inside triple, I don't think it's going to be happening on the RM112 here today. But, dude, this 112 absolutely shreds. Holy hell, the RM112 barks. Um, oh, my gosh. There is one thing I do notice about the 112, or the RM112, I mean, um, that I didn't notice about the TC112 or the YZ112. And if you guys pay close attention, when we go off some of the faces, like right there, the front end tries to swap. Um, and you can definitely tell it's a bug with the bike's physics here. Doing here, check this out. Yeah, you see the front end just trying to swap off the lip. You guys, you guys just do a little bit of third person out here on the RM112 out here at Schmeezville. I, I don't know how this is going to go, bro, but these 112s are really, really sick. So we might be able to bark this thing in a little bit of third person here. Um, so far, it, it's not going too bad here in third person, you know? But we'll find out how it goes here over that double there. Dude, you can absolutely scrub so hard on these 112s and just toss it. Like, look at that absolutely insane bro let's go inside here let's just go double 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 let's go inside here bro we're actually barking in third person i'm not even gonna lie oh you're ripping the arm 112 you know how it is damn this thing absolutely barks let's go inside here oh Oh, no, we're coming up short on that. Oh, my gosh, we're good, though. But, you guys, a little bit of review here on these 112s. I would highly recommend going and downloading them and trying them out. They're so fun to mess around on. And the best thing about it is they handle relatively decent as well. So you can just hold them absolutely wicked on pretty much every track you take these things to. And it's just really, really fun, dude. As before we head out, let's try to put in the heater here out here on Smeezville. We'll give ourselves three attempts. If we crash on all three attempts, then it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it here. Let's see if we can't bark here. Three attempts raw. That's all we get here. Ah, uh, we're coming up short on the triple. There's no point in even continuing that lap after doing that. So that's one attempt to use here. Let's go ahead and use our second attempt here to try to put in the heater out here at Smeezville. See if we can't absolutely bark this arm until we can go double. Double. Get all the way over the triple this time here. <coughs> nice. Let's go inside here. Grab the fifth. Holding their absolute wick on Smudge 12, but getting mad sketch over that. Holy hell. Grab fifth. Let's just go inside here. Grab sixth. Yeah, let's just go double. Double. Let's go inside as well. Oh my, no! To be fair though, I guess that wasn't going to be the best lap because we did make some mistakes on that lap for sure. Um, but you guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there checking out the 112s. Um, I'll give myself one last attempt right now as we head out to today's video. Might as well. Um, but if you guys did enjoy, drop a like and sub down below. It does help out the channel greatly. And don't forget to check out the In Real Life Ryan channel if you want to see some In Real Life Ryan content. You know, don't forget to check out the In Real Life Ryan channel if you want to see some In Real Life Ryan content. And uh, let me know what types of videos you guys would like to see on these bikes. Game of bikes, straight rhythm, anything you'd like to see. 
Um, we'll definitely get it done here. Um, but you guys, like I said, I think that's going to be a wrap on today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video.